Howdy folks, I'm Scorth, the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to Borderlands. Let's head over here and get this uh, Skagzilla bait. Along the way, we'll probably be fighting some of Mad Mel's uh, uh, runners, which is, you know, part of the mission that we, uh, we got from Lucky. So we'll be killing them along the way, just, you know, because they're, just because they're convenient and they're there. There's, there's one. He's driving away. I don't care about engaging him right now because he's, he's leaving. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's... he's oh, wow. That was, a hell of a, that was a hell of a flip. I'm gonna get out before this car explodes. Ah, shit. Damn it. Car exploded. Well, I'm not in a safe place. I was, trying, I was trying to hide behind cover. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm kill somebody over there and get some, uh, get back up. There we go. Shotgun. 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 <laughs> I was wondering where he was. I could hear him. There we go. Alright. Let me go to the pistol here. What do we got here? We got no, no, no grenades. All right, here's the Skagzilla bait. And we'll roll this around. This is the uh, use valve. Okay, it was the valve. That was the valve for the. Uh, <clears throat> well, there's your problem right there, mission. All right, let's go place that bait. My, my car got wrecked, so I got to walk walk there. Luckily, it's not too far. Again, apologies if you hear uh, landscaping noises. That's not, that's not a euphemism for my farts. It really is landscaping tools making those noises. Jog up in here. Drop down here. Probably should have gone and filled up my health first, but that'd be alright. I should be able to, I should be fine. So I can grab some health out of these things here. All right. Place the bait. Once you place the bait, this gate here closes and we cannot get out. This gate would have been open before you put the bait down so you can leave if you wanted to. Once you place the bait, that door goes down and you have to finish this boss or, you know, die doing so. Okay, was that to do any damage? Uh, it did no damage. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> I actually saw three zeros. I'm actually shocked. Wow, really? No damage whatsoever. Okay, this, uh, this guy is actually immune to shock damage or something. I, okay. <laughs> I, um, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, time to go this mode. Time to go punchy mode. Come here. And now we're damaging him. No, don't knock me back. Oh, yeah, I didn't do much. Ah, oh, okay, hit the. That went bad. Grenade. Grenade. Okay, grenades are doing damage. What? Zero? What the fuck? Why are you know my weapon's doing damage? Why is my pistol and my shotgun the only thing doing damage? What the actual hell? You're not doing much to damage me. I can't believe my rocket launcher and my... And my grenades are doing absolutely no damage whatsoever. I've never actually seen that before. That's why I'm just, I'm just in shock. So, pardon me for being a little uh, silent. You know, just I'm in shock that my <laughs> my weapons are doing no damage. I've never seen that before. Oof. All right, this is where we started. So let's do this again. Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> kind of glitch him a little bit there, I guess. Punch him in the ass. Punch him in the ass. Punch him in the ass. Ah, 
I'm gonna take him down a little bit further. I don't think it's his armor because I shot him with a rocket launcher in the leg and he still did zero damage. Why he's just turning? I don't know. Oh, there he goes. Now he's actually attacking me like normal. So I really he's just kind of turning. Not really trying to attack me. I hope I got enough ammo for this. <laughs> I'm there. I'm wearing him down. That's what getting him underneath helped. Oh, there we go. Yep, that did it. Getting him underneath did the trick. He took a lot of damage while he was in midair. That was just really weird. I wasn't expecting my rocket launcher to do so little damage. <laughs> so little. How about no damage? That's little. Alright. Look, well, he dropped some, a lot of stuff here, so... I guess that's one thing I could have, uh, I, I, well, and I could have, I can point out, <clears throat> that if you've got one, feel free to uh, use a corrosive weapon on uh, on the Skagzilla, because uh, the corrosive weapon will actually, da uh, corrosives are, uh, are did you say it way, armor is weak to corrosive, like shields are weak to, uh, to shock, Armor is weak to corrosive, so using a corrosive weapon would have probably penetrated that armor a lot better. So, But I didn't have one, so I was kind of at a disadvantage there. Uh, let's see. Um, full up here, so I need to drop something. It's worth a thousand, so let's see. Something really, really, really cheap. Um, 133, that'll probably do it. Yeah, 133 pistol. Yeah, let's drop that. And then grab the $1,000 shot, the $1,000 sniper rifle. And we level up to 21. Alright, let's put a perk point on something new. What we got? Gives them a chance to daze enemies, slowing them and reducing their accuracy. Mm. And your shields become depleted, you gain damage bonus for 10 seconds. Not bad, but meh. When your shield is depleted, you gain 5 seconds of powerful shield regeneration. Mm. Die hard increases the amount of health you regain when you are revived by a friend or by second wind. Also increases the amount of time you have before you die when you are crippled. That is certainly tempting. That is certainly tempting. When I go down, I'll have lo longer time to pick myself up. Hmm. I'll wait. I'll, I'll see about that, but I'll hang on to that one. I think the next one I want to do is going to work over here. Me a melee damage increase because I do use my melee at times. And increase the duration of Berserk would also, would also be very, very nice. So, um, let's increase the duration of Berserk first. Let's go with that. All right. Uh, anything else over here? Nope. Okay. Is there anything hidden underneath his uh, body? Sometimes I got I have to like look inside the the, the, the dead body of the of an enemy this big because sometimes the uh, uh, some weapons and gears so will be hidden underneath the body like I can't see I can't see them so I'll be like oh, alright I guess I got everything I'll come back wait a minute where was this <laughs> alright so now that we've defeated this gangzilla this door is now open and we can get out so alright let's uh let's uh let's get out um we need to, let's head over this way because we got a mission over here that, right over there is the speedway that we were talking about before or that the mission was telling us about before um, just race Pandora. This is we're right here by it. Let's go ahead and get it. One more level and I can use that new pistol that I found. 100 and what it was like, 140 something damage. And, uh, a magazine of six, a clip of six. Hell, hell yeah. Alright, there's, uh, Scythe in here. Alright. Found a better pistol, but it only has two in the in the uh, two in the clip compared to my uh, to this. Where's the other pistol that I've? Uh, wait, wait, what? Where's the? 
Oh, there it is. I started to freak out again. That's 245. Man, that is so tempting. That is so tempting. Having two, having two, uh, only two bullets for the 245 damage, which is, I have two bullets now, so it's not really that big. Uh, uh, two shots in the, in the clip now, which is not that, you know, not that different. Do I want that much damage increase? Oh, man. Or do I want to just go with the, the six in the clip and, and do more damage? Or not do as much damage? Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I hate decisions like this. <laughs> I have enough room. Oh, yeah, I need to sell stuff first. Yeah, I saw all that. Useless shit out of the way. <laughs> Including that gun right there. <laughs> That's right, I just did that. <laughs> this rocket launcher is probably not better than mine. No, it is better than mine. And it's corrosive. Okay, yeah, let's, get, let's grab that. Alright, let's equip... I can't equip the pistol yet, so I'll mark it as locked and then change that. And then sell that shock rocket launcher. Alright. Let's go in here and do this mission. We're gonna open the store here. There's gonna be there's sighted in this room, lots of them. You see them all well, we see one right there. They're trying to like get through the door, but they can't. <laughs> you see those there's two in there. There's, uh, some de there's some desert side of the flying ones deeper inside the uh, in the place. Unfortunately, I can't shoot it from here. So even though this is just a bunch of bars, it's actually a solid wall. I can't shoot through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to repair our grenades, which I'm a little low on. I need to find some grenades soon. Open up and toss. Oh, fuck. The grenade bounced off the door. i try it again. What the? You guys are seeing that. The the grenade is bouncing off an, an open door. Okay. Let's get to what if it actually will bounce. actually will. The fuck is bouncing like off this open door? The mechanics in this game just befuddle me sometimes. Damn it. Just damn it. <laughs> Oh, I hate those desert cycles when they fly. Kind of, kind of reminds me of the creepy things from from fear. I mean, not as bad, but just the way that when they fly like that, just kind of, ugh, just kind of ugh, irks me. Anything that kind of flies at the screen just kind of it makes, it gives me a little chill. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't know why that bugs me so much. No pun intended when I say bugs. <laughs> Yeah, those, those things fly at you like that. It just kind of... Okay. The... Hit the reload button. Also the open door button. Where the door is already open. It's a closed door button. Close the door on myself. There's the birthing... The birthing sighted. Aha, they can't get in here. Ha, you got in. Uh, I'm a tough guy I am. Aha, you can't get inside this door. You can't get in the door. Uh, yeah, yeah, he got in the door, all right. All right. Money. Grab some ammo here. Or, yes, yeah, ammo. And let's blow this up. Hold up something heavier. There we go. It's going to take forever with that pistol. <laughs> with only two shots of that pistol, it's going to take forever to bust that uh, uh, that fuel tank. All right. Let's go over here now. <gasps> Grab a ride. And head into the racetrack. And we got to kill Scythons along the way. I'm just going to run them over. What it's locking onto over there. There's a site that's already out there. 
and a badass poison sighted. Now, <clears throat> these uh, com the, these bursting scythids, these are not badass fire scythids, no. That's a completely different thing, like these two over here. Those two are, were badass fire fire crawlers, which is fire fire scythids. The bursting scythids are not the same thing. They're not anywhere near as strong. Okay, we got another one over here. Um... Squishy, and oh, come on, squishy. There we go. Um, I was gonna mention something. Oh, there, the, there's actually uh, a uh, achievement slash trophy, you know, depending on your system, of course, available in this game in this particular area. I mean, there's lots of them, but I'm, I'm referring to specifically the uh, uh, the the achievement slash trophy in this particular area. It's called uh, Speedy McSpeederton or something like that. What it, uh, the description is, get around the racetrack as fast as possible. I say, and it's, unfortunately, they don't tell you what the, what the target time is. They just want you to get around the track within a certain amount of time. I don't know off the top of my head exactly what the time is, but I do know the path that you would need to take if you're trying to obtain this particular trophy. And as soon as I get, as soon as I get around to killing 20, uh, 50 uh, scythids, I will show off exactly what that particular path is. But first, I need to wait a moment to get my uh, vehicle to recharge its health because I ran over a number of scythids that were apparently too strong for it to handle. Because my shit's burning. I should not burn as much now, so. Alright, goes in here. Oh, reason I took so much damage, I hit some of those. Uh, some of those, uh, uh, scythids were badasses, so, yeah. Like I said, pretty much hitting, with the exception of hitting enemies that are lower level than you, hitting anything is going to do just a little bit of damage. Even the smallest guys will deal like one or two points of damage to your vehicle. Well, obviously, the bigger they are, the more damage they do. And once you get, you know, over the over leveled, you can run them over without any damage at all. But all right. All right. Just a few more to go. And this giant scythe again. It's not. It's a. Well, I mean, while the giant scythe and bursting scythe are not badasses, the bursting scythe are pretty strong, and the and the giants are probably they're probably they're like maybe like a step below badass level. All right, one more scythe. There we go. Done. Deathface Pandora is finished. Okay. Now, let me jump out here and grab this uh, grenade mod here. Oh, it was, a, it was a Berserker mod, okay. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the beginning of the track. Because I want to show you where you need to go. What's that? That's just, that's just some rocket ammo, okay. Um, you, the Essentially, the timer that, that that's... You, you won't be able to see this timer, but there is a timer that's, that's running that um it's like running in the background or like hidden somewhere that's timing you how long it takes you to get around the course and i think this bar banner right here is essentially the starting line slash finish line so you want to go this way this, this you're trying to get that achievement to get around the track as fast as possible you go this way you want to stay to the left and as you see on the map there's like a really sharp turn coming up here you want to take the sharp turn right here all the way around, and then you want to get the boost, and boost across, and made it. Okay, good. Made it. And then go this way. Drop down here, and the finish line is right here. This will do it. Now, I've already got the achievement, or the trophy. I'm playing on the PlayStation. I've already got the trophy for it, so I can't 
show getting it, you know, but that is the that is one path. There's two paths that you can use. There's actually three total paths to the entire racetrack all the way around. But that's one path that'll lead you to the um to getting the trophy. The downside of that one is that you have to make that jump where you use the where I use the boost to get across that gap. You have to get across that gap, otherwise you're gonna lose time. You're gonna lose too much time, you're not gonna get the uh the trophy. That is the probably the shortest path, but it is the hardest one because you have to make that uh, you have to make that jump. If you want to try another path to get there successfully, what you want to do is actually I, you don't want to go, you want to stay back to the inside. Don't go to the outside like I did, but go stay on that inside. But you just keep following the track around. This time we're not going to make a sharp turn on the left up here. We're going to stay on the track, and we're going to make a sharp left here. And we're going to stay straight here. We're not going to turn left. We're going to stay straight here. Go up here. Stay on the right-hand side of the track. And then come down here. And then cross the finish line here. And there we go. That'll, that'll also be quick enough to get credit for the uh, uh, credit for the trophy. What you don't want to do... The, basically, the whole point is to get, to get around as fast as possible. Is You don't want to take that inside track. Let me show you where to go. Go around over here like this, just like, you know, following the track. If you decide you don't want to try to make that jump because you just can't seem to time the, the boost right or whatever, that's fine. You don't have to use it. But if you go around this way, what you don't want to do is you don't want to take this inside track on the left over here. You don't want to take this left track. As you look at the map, you see it leans hard to the left. You go around this way and get, I'll kill these two guys while we're passing through. Challenge completed, numb to the voices, all right. You take this path over here, see it, it dips down a lot and there's a lot of air time. You don't get a lot of forward motion while you're in the air, so it, it really screws with your time. So uh, you want to avoid this left side, so you want to just kind of, so you, that's why you say you want, to go, you want to go right. Also, you want to stay to the right, because again, a lot of, a lot of left-hand turns are going to slow you down. So you go across, uh, you go, if you stay to the right over here, and then go up and stay right again up here, you're going to be right here, and this is where you land when you jump across that gap from over there. And you use the boost to jump across, you're going to land right over, uh, I believe it's, uh, is it up there? I believe it's up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you land, like, right about here. Yeah, I think you land, like, right about here. And, uh, this is a pretty far jump, though. Anyway, <clears throat> you're right, right around here is where you would land if you jumped off that uh, ramp over there, which is why I would say let's stay to the right and it's the short path over here. Whereas if you go to the left over on this side, you can see all these paths here that just lead sharper to the left and farther and farther away from the, from the, right, from the finish line. You go all the way around this way here, and that takes up time. You see the farther inside track on the map means you go even farther to the left, which obviously takes you farther from the uh, from the finish line, so you lose more time. So it, the fastest route is to take the ramp. But if you can't time the ramp right because you just can't aim it just right and can't time the boost right, that's fine. Go around and ignore the ramp. Go around the long way and just take the... Far, just stay to the outside, keep taking outside lanes, and you'll reach the finish line under the allotted time, and you'll get the trophy. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see what's next. Fuel feud. Let's go ahead and do fuel feud. Let's, take, let's uh, find the rest of the fuel tanks and destroy them. And if there also happens to be a valve nearby, like there was earlier when I grabbed the Skagzilla bait, I will do that as well. So, um... Let's go do those. 